you know, it's really crazy how these people be stalking yo. You're like watching you in your own home, in the privacy of your own home. I have posted videos about my son, my oldest son, just giving me a really hard time. And these people literally villainize people, okay? I've been disrespected in every way by my son, including him trying to pounce on me to fight me, all because I don't bow down to him because he's very controlling, like an abusive boyfriend, except it's my son. I would never, ew, that's my son. And I've set a rule. He breaks it constantly. And he's infiltrated and and really been a very terrible influence on the other children, including my other son, who is now villainizing me. And I'm over it. Like, I'm like, I have sacrificed my life for my children to make sure that they have a parent that is present, that they have everything they need, plus things that they want. They don't go without anything. And my son really tore me down yesterday after dumping his toxic, whatever he had going on emotionally onto me. I tried to give him a room, like space to talk to me about what's bothering him. He brings up something I said in front of the family some years ago and then storms off crying. And so not giving me a chance to apologize, he just made me feel terrible. And I've already been feeling terrible because of something going on with my oldest son. So it's kind of like he's copying his brother. Even with the things he says, I can see that my oldest son has really planted a lot of negative seeds in his mind, things that he never said or or anything. It's, it's literally like the same spirit jumped into him to try to hurt me. So yesterday I was watching a video on YouTube of Little Bow Wow in an Arsenio Hall interview all the way back in 93. And this little baby was so tiny. And Arsenio Hall is standing next to him with his crotch, like waving in the baby's face. And I did not like that. And I've always been a big fan of Arsenio Hall when I was younger. I never saw him in this light before. It was very strange. He's talking to the little boy and wait, like waving his, it's almost like he's standing. He's not sitting like he does with the other guests. He's standing and it's almost like, it's strange. The vibe was just really weird. And as the little boy was, I guess, in the middle of performing, Arsenio Hall walks up and snatches him and runs to the back with him, which seemed very peculiar and I and I saw so I made a comment and I was like he probably was back there getting molested the way the host was acting like he couldn't he just couldn't wait you know to get him in the back and a lot of these kids in the industries their parents prostitute them they sell them out they put them on the red carpet these kids are getting molested just to get fame and that's a reality and so I commented on that so with the reason I said the things about my son is because this person came under my post, not knowing me, and said, you're a negative person that creates problems out of nothing. This sounds like something my son would say. Something, unfortunately, that, you know, is a lie. Anybody that could spend a day with me or spend time with me would understand every reaction I have is for a reason. 
I don't sit up here and create anything out of nothing. It is my, you know, how kids are, especially teenagers. They roll their eyes. They say smart things under their breath, things like that. And no parent is going to sit up and let the child they take care of, the child they carry for nine months and pushed out, disrespect them in that manner. Um, then he, my son said things to me like, um, get a job. You making excuses for yourself. You schizophrenic, thinking everybody after you. And I was just like, wow, like, that cut my heart to the core. I couldn't believe those words came out of his mouth. Um, it really, it broke my spirit, which was what the enemy was trying to do because I was in a really, really good mood. And I was spending time with my kids and we were feeling good. Finally, after what's been going on with my oldest son, we were spending family quality time together. He came in the room with this dark spirit in him. And I knew if I gave him the floor, he was going to ruin my mood. I just could feel it. And he did. And and so I walked in his room and I was like, I really don't appreciate, you know, the way you just dumped this toxicity on me. And now you're sitting here like everything's he's like, oh, I feel better. I said, well, of course you feel better. You came in my room and like dumped all this on me that you're carrying. Um, and for what? I said, you know, he started shouting and calling me Satan. And I was just like, wow, I can't even believe it. Like it was just really heartbreaking as a parent. It's very heartbreaking for a parent's. I understand, you know, parents and how our children have no, not, they have very limited understanding because of limited life experience. That doesn't mean that they're dumb. That doesn't mean that they're unable to comprehend, but their level of maturity about life is limited because of less life experience. And I teach my kids and I just know that he's been in a state of of um darkness my my son that used to always be happy jovial he's been more of like dark and he's trying to act like his big brother basically and um and i'm i'm just not going to i'm not going to do the things i did with his big brother and try to understand and reason i'm just to the point where i can't feed into it and that's what the lord put on my heart is don't feed into it ignore it and block it out because it's just attention seeking. And and once I did that and I started ignoring him, then he started acting like himself again because he saw I wasn't feeding into it. And then he actually was trying to be my friend because I was not feeding into it at all because it's it's like a game. And unfortunately, my, my middle son have always had that problem with. He loves to get emotional rise out of people. He'll play mental games with people just to get a reaction out of them. He's been like that since he was a baby. And I talk to him about it. And I tell him it's not good to do those things. That's a sign of being abusive. And we don't want you to grow. I don't want you to grow into that. And, um, you know, talking to his dad is just like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He come, yeah, you know, when I was younger, I used to do stuff like that. But you're not talking to him about it. So, Therefore, I'm dealing with this and I'm being disrespected. And he's t he took a posture with me yesterday like he was going to hit me and um, trying to copy his big brother. And I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I was just in total shock, total shock. The disrespect that came out of his mouth was, I just couldn't believe it. You know, I couldn't believe that he could see me go through his big brother and then want to emulate that like that to me is just you know I look at my son in a different light at this point and um the way he talked about me like we're not in a pandemic I was working until the pandemic shut down my job and kept shutting down my job like because I worked at a bar so my job was immediately shut down and I went months you know, not being able to go back to work. And I'm not about to go and risk my life going into finding a new job and 
and risk my health and risk my life because these people are are kicking butt and not taking names you know they just people just been they have been dying you know so what are you talking about you know and i just to argue with a 13 year old is like that has no understanding about anything other than they want some new shoes Oh, they, they're my best friend when it's time to go shopping. It just was really heartbreaking for him to say those things. But the fact that the guy, you know, came under my post, this guy has, and, and usually if it's a perp, they don't have any videos. They might have one video. And you'll notice the video was very recent, like from a month ago. One video, no followers, no views, because they are just, they think they're incognito. And they come and they they stalk you, they stalk they uh mirror your screen, they listen in on your conversations, and they pick and choose what they want to use to villainize you. They don't go through the whole day with you and see through the whole year through the weeks with you and see what you've been going through. It's ridiculous, and I just really hope that. I'm not even going to say I know these people are Satanists. So anything good, they call bad and they call bad good. They put light for darkness and darkness for light. And the Bible says, woe unto them that put darkness for light and light for darkness. And they accuse others of doing what they do constantly. So this guy gets under my post under my post hypocritically and says I may I'm I make problems I'm a negative person that makes problems out of nothing who are you you don't know me I don't know you for you to sit up here and say anything about me I don't know you don't try to plant that evil negative seed in my mind that is a lie from the pit of hell I get up and I act accordingly to what my children do. I'm a single mother. I can't be Mary Poppins floating around on an umbrella pretending like everything is perfect all the time. And until you step, until you step in, like you don't help me with my children. You can't tell me nothing about being a parent. You're probably not one because you got too much time on your hand to be sitting up following my comments around. Get a life. Get you some business. And leave me alone because these people are punks. That's the, why they work in packs. They can never approach you alone. The only time they look at you crazy alone is if they're in a car. Because most of the time, if you confront one of them, they get terrified. Because they're a bunch of punks, wimps, simps, weak, you know, lames, nobodies. Like, you see these people, they like, they've lost their flavor. They have, you know... They've lived their life. They've never been popular. They've never had any type of influence to impact people. And they're jealous. It's period, point blank. They're jealous. They so jealous because they want what you have, whether it's your personality, whether, and they don't like the light more than jealousy. Cause a lot of people like all oh, they're jealous more than jealousy, more than all of that. They don't like the light that is in you. They don't like it. It hurts them. It hurts their eyes that you can see through them. That they're a bunch of miserable, selfish, unhappy, washed out losers. That need to, that need to, and that's why, because they've chosen to be bad people that claim they're good and they're not good people. They're not good people. They are narcissists. They do good deeds in public to appear as if they're good, but they don't give a crap about nobody, but they self. They live in a perpetual state of turmoil. And so they, they wasn't bothering me as long as, as long as I was keeping myself busy, my faith was built. They've been attacking me with the weaponry again. And, you know, it's, it's been 
certain things they do when I'm driving that I just ignore it. And I just try not to think about it. Like the brights in my eyes, the one head like continually um, was happening to me. And I just continue to ignore it. I ended up preaching a gospel like in Walmart and the power of God enveloped that place. That's why I keep telling you, I keep stressing, you must keep a Bible on you. Keep the word of God playing on your devices. Keep God's word in your mouth. And and I began to bless them. I didn't begin to curse them. I was blessing them. And the people couldn't do anything because the power of God was so powerful that the entire Walmart went silent. The entire Walmart went silent and the power of God dropped you could feel the power of God drop in that Walmart. And why are you letting these white handlers oppress you? And these these black older men that have sold out to the white man through Freemasonry. Why are you letting your own oppress you? You better wake up and take a stand against the powers of the devil. The devil is a liar. He's been a liar from the beginning. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He does the opposite of what Jesus does. He does not heal. He does not bind up. He does not set free. and He does not forgive. He does the opposite. And therefore, he's trying to make prisoners out of people in their minds and in their lives. Just finding anybody he can bully, anybody that these people consider as weak or like the fatherless, you, you touching the wrong people. God is very serious about the widow, the fatherless, the orphan and the weak. And these are the people they target. But these people aren't weak because we won't sell out. So instead of them going on with their life, they choose to try. They have tried to incriminate sabotage, stalk, harass. Many members of my family are involved, including my oldest son. So you're telling me that sh that the word of a 17-year-old unstable person that have shown time and time again, he is a rebel against all authority. He's been put out of so many places because of it. That you can listen to them without ever talking to me. Get in my side of things. That shows you that these people are, they're evil. They are hypocrites. They're one-sided. They are not fair at all. And they're going to burn in hell. Because God have given them space to repent time and time again. I still feel, hear the ringing in my ears. The radio frequencies in my ears. When I went to my son's school so he could take his graduation pictures, I was getting hit with weaponry. It was crazy. Like the way they direct that energy towards a person and it's negative energy. So you feel a sense of terror and fear. And it's like something out of men in black. Like they have these weapons that were made for the military. These people are a silent military. They are conducting a silent war. And the only thing that they can use is your attention. You want to beat them? Get in your word and stop feeding into what they're doing. Saying, they say something dumb, block them. They keep harassing record them keep it in your records and other than that be kind to them try not try your best not to go off because it's hard at times but try your best to do what jesus said to do he said love your enemies bless those that curse you and pray for those that despitefully misuse you and persecute you then you will be sons of the most high god because you're doing what his children should do you're forgiving you're loving your enemy. You're feeding your enemy. You're blessing your enemy. And you're going to see the power of God come into the situation. I'm telling you, I witnessed it. That day when I walked in Walmart, I was planning to go off on these people for just following me around our same people.
keep popping up in the aisle that I'm in. Walmart is huge. I, I go from one side to the other side. Here's the same person popping up with their army fatigue on, stalking me while I'm shopping. Instead, I began to proclaim, what would Jesus do? What did Jesus say? What did God say? And they couldn't do anything but agree with what I was saying and began to praise God, actually, these people. And the power of God dropped in that Walmart. It was amazing. Amazing. That was definitely a victory. Um, I continued just to walk in that victory and in peace and in power. And they couldn't touch me because of it. Most recently from what happened with my oldest son trying to attack me. These people... Because he's not here. So these people have been trying to, again, hash up old stuff, old, old stuff to attack me with. It's pitiful. It's redundant. They are the scum of the earth. They are corona. They are pollution. They are cancer. They are those things. They are bad people. They think they're in a sorority. They're the underdogs. They're just getting used and abused like puppets. And instead of them standing up to their oppressors, they join in thinking that they something. When these people have no respect or regard for them, they giving them doggy treats. They hate when I talk like this. But I try to be nice. And I'm, I'm going to keep being nice. But as long as you direct the energy weapons towards my mind, trying to give me radiation and all of that, do you think I'm going to sit back and act oblivious? It's, um, I notice when you record them, oh, they just been desperate for my attention. Desperate. Desperate. I step out of my house. No traffic. I mean, when I'm in my house, no traffic until I sit in my living room. I, my my window is right outside of the street. I can hear very well when it comes to cars. It's no traffic, none, until I would sit in my living room. All of a sudden, these cars with tinted windows would start driving past. Don't let me go outside. Oh, baby, when my car was stuck in the snow, Oh, they had a field day driving past me. FedEx left my boxes all the way by a tree, the tree closest to the street. I walk outside the door and I said, are you just going to leave my boxes right there? The guy gets in his truck and pulls off. So me and my kids began to tumble the boxes into the house. The guy drives back past recording me and my children. I called the postal service. They pretended like, oh, that's terrible. The lady, all I ever got back from her was a text message. Nothing was done about this man recording me and my children rolling these boxes back into the house. It's just been ridiculous. I go to the post office. Here's the man with his Freemason hat on with the symbol on it right there, of course, because they want to make their presence known. And I began to talk to my daughter who was with me about gang stalking and how it's illegal, how they have to be covert and uh, because it's a it's a underground dark army of Satanists and Antichrist and it's evil. And these people have been ruining our country. They are the reason God's wrath is on this country. They kill the good and they exalt the bad. They are of the devil. They are not of the Lord. And I'm not saying all of them. I do believe some of them are Christians and unaware that what they're participating in is satanic and evil. So when you see these perps under your videos, most of the times they're white, okay? Most of the time it's a white man running a bunch of black folks because I live around my people, a bunch of black folks. 
And I noticed that anytime it's ramped up, it's a white man that looks like trash with glasses on and a baseball cap and some type of gloves so he can signal and they can see his signal. So he'll, it's, it's crazy. They're like referees, how in a football game, the referee does all these hand signs and only the players know what these hand signs mean. So it's the same thing. They throwing up these different hand signs, whether it's scratching their nose, adjusting their hat, putting one hand in a pocket. And this dude always comes out of nowhere from across the parking lot. Some white guy. It never, it, it's ridiculous. And then all the people come out and they red and black and they army fatigue. They looking at me crazy. It's ridiculous. It's like, my God, help me. And he has, and he does. But I have to continually call on him. I've had it with these people. I've had it. Enough is enough. It's over with for them. In my eyes. Um, dream infiltration. I definitely believe in that. I definitely believe they do infiltrate our dreams. Um, they are spiritual as well. So they are directing witchcraft, sorceries, black and white magic. You can't put nothing past them. So you always have to stay on point. The moment you lay down, like I've been trying to get rest after the stressful situation I've been in. You want to talk about getting harassed as I'm trying to sleep. Then that caused me to want more sleep because I had a terrible sleep. It's just been, you know, really disgusting. Now, I, I still believe in God's word. I believe I'm free from the program. It's just, if they could get my attention, they try to. Do you get what I'm saying? The only thing that you can give them is your attention. And I know it's hard not to. When they send in subliminals and they saying stuff under their breath, subliminals, and they directing conversations and the cars, you know, swarming you, the red cars, the red trucks, the it's ridiculous. The effort these people put in to try to drive someone nuts. It's it's sad. And they can't really do it physically, so that's why they use the energy weapons to affect your spirit. Because if they could break your spirit down, then they can break you down. Because your strength comes from your spirit. That's why I'm telling you, get in the word of God. Keep it. It's a, a lady called named Cindy Trim. She has a very, very Dr. Cindy Trim, very powerful prayer that I play almost every day. And you, you will feel those evil demons leave because they can't stand in the presence of God. The Jesus movie, play it out loud because the devil can't stand in his presence. These demons cannot stand in his presence. A lot of these people are on drugs. Drugs, they've opened all type of satanic portals. There's demons driving their bodies a lot of times. It's the devil. And the devil is real. So I hope this helps someone. Um, just keep fighting a good fight of faith. Hang in there. Don't give up. You know, I had stopped making videos because I was not getting attacked. I, I felt like I let, I put out enough videos to help people. The attacks had stopped because I cut a lot of bad people out of my life that were participating. And I knew how to guard myself from these people. But the Bible says, do not enter the path of the wicked. You have to be careful who you talk to, who you befriend. You got to keep these people away from you because they have open portals over their life. Then those portals try to come into your life by you allowing them in your life. You don't have to be mean, but you don't have to open up your life to them because they are, they are in the dark. They are in, they in Satan's playing field. Come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. You got to come out from among them. Ask God to wash you from whatever got attached. You definitely have to guard your thoughts. Don't be thinking about things you shouldn't be thinking about. Repent daily. Jesus is coming back 
and he's coming back soon. And the devil know, and the devil is mad. But you just keep on fighting. It will be worth it. Keep fighting. Ask the Lord for strength. Ask the Lord for vindication against the camp of the enemy in Jesus' name. And watch and see the salvation of the Lord. God bless you.